first thing we think of when we think of forgiveness is that saying, forgive and forget. I think that's stupid. We don't forget things. We don't have to forget things that have happened. History doesn't run backwards. History has happened. And we remember that it's happened. We don't have to lose our brains in order to be forgiving. I think a lot of us think that forgiveness is a feeling. That somehow I have to come up with warm, fuzzy, happy, loving emotions towards someone who's done something terrible to me before I can say that I have forgiven him. But I don't think that's true. Your feelings don't lead you toward forgiveness. Ordinarily, I think our feelings lead us toward vengeance. If we wait for warm, fuzzy feelings to arise in us towards someone who's done something terrible to us, we're going to wait a long time. But we don't have to wait for our feelings to lead us toward forgiveness. Forgiveness is something we can decide to start. Sometimes the person you need to forgive isn't anywhere around. Sometimes the person might be dead. Can you forgive someone who's dead if you can't go to them and tell them, I forgive you? Sure you can. If forgiveness is really about you and your freedom, you can forgive anybody living or dead. And if forgiveness is really about you, you can probably also forgive the person most people have the hardest time forgiving, yourself. All we have to do is say, I am sick and tired of my life being about that bad thing. I want my life to be about my good. I want my life to be about my good in my future. I want the valuable real estate in my heart to be free and available so that God can fill it with love for everybody. And I don't want an inch of it taken over by the tumor of hatred that feeds on lack of forgiveness. I don't have the past to work with anymore, it's over. But I have today, and I have the future. I can choose to walk into the future laden with the rocks of what happened in the past and bowed down under them. But I'm going to ditch the rocks because I want to be free. 